Hey, this is Chris from Florida Music, and we're in front of Steinberg's new grand library uh, called the Grand Three. So it's obviously a piano library. It's a plug-in that you can use in your virtual instrument uh, doors and such like. And it obviously is a standalone as well. Uh, one of the things I like about it, big library, 30-odd gigs um, of Steinway and Yamaha recordings and so on. Um, comes in, um, obviously, Mac and PC. Uh, one of the things I like about it as well, straight off the bat, is the, um, the velocity layers. Uh, it has lots of uh, recordings of different layers. In fact, it boasts some 20 steps, and that's pretty evident when you're actually playing from soft notes up to loud notes. It doesn't seem to have any nasty jumps where the samples will suddenly come in. You know, it doesn't do anything like that. Um, obviously, it's recorded in some sort of um, disc streaming method. Um, because it's only using 345 megs, it says here on the screen. Uh, there's a nice little panel here, it says it's disk usage, CP usage, and voices, and then it says memory usage. And I guess that's only just the cache. Um, economy mode, that will help you out if uh, only loads sort of seven layers, if, in case you don't have enough uh, CPU RAM sources. Uh, RAM save gets rid of um, uh, the samples that you're not using within your playing, and so on. Um, panel wise, it's very easy to use. Just click the button, up comes the options. You've got all the different uh, types of player position or close mic position, and all the different brands that you want. Obviously, uh, most of these are actually Yamaha, well, three of the uh, One's a Yamaha here, I can see. And then there's a Model D, which is the one I loaded, which is Steinway. And then there's some Swedish upright thing here. Um, other things it does, let's just play a little bit, a few notes here, so we get an idea of what it sounds like for the people who don't like me talking too much. It sounds nicely. Um, one of the things I did do, I didn't like the damper pedal um, noise. It, it's the damper pedals when the actual uh, piano strings pull away, uh, so the dampers pull away from the strings, and you can hear this. Now, that's obviously I've exaggerated it there, but at, even at the zero point, I felt that was a little loud, so I've reduced that to a minus 7 dB uh, level just to uh, kind of reduce that. Obviously, they've given you all these tools for this purpose because everybody likes their piano different. Nobody has the same opinion. They'll always quote another brand or something else because that's just the one they buy or something or the one they like. Uh, we've got things like hammer release, the noise of uh, the hammers dropping back into their park position, uh, the key sound, the sound of it striking, how long the resonance of the strings are. So lots of really cool, um, useful tools here to get it how you want it. Equalizer, nice equalizer. I've left it on factory, so I don't know what the, you know, other than this would be. But ambience, um, they've got uh, reverbs here. You've got algorithmic type and uh, convolution type. So all your sweet controls. You've got surround panel there, uh, controls for velocity, and uh, on the options panel here, uh, different tuning to get those classical tuners that we all like. So it does sound good. As you heard there, it's, it's got um, nice dynamic tones. You can actually um, test it. Let's test it out with a couple of different brands here. Here's Ivory. I'll just pull up Ivory's panel. We can see we play the same kind of notes here. It's a lot darker, isn't it? And I do have to play a little louder to get the uh, velocity tone that I want. Uh, let's move on to another one here called Acoustic. This is from Native Instruments. Uh, this is the same, same piano on every one. So, again, acoustic's still there, nice, nice sounding, but I don't know whether they uh, compared to this one, which says very bright and kind of full. I kind of like that. Uh, I like the way it velocity changes in the tones. It's sweet all the way along. Um, the, it does do a standalone mode, just in case we want to do uh, some standalone stuff. And it does do some recording and other things, but I'm just using it in the door here as a standard practice here. So all in all, as you can hear, it's actually quite a nice sound. Um, let's do it in some context. I've got a couple of loop here from um, something of easy, I did with Easy Drummer and a little bass thing. So let's just uh, see if we can play that back and uh, see what that sounds in context then. Um, I'll try and switch around the different pianos and get in the context with them as well. So this one's the uh, grand. Let's try the ivory. Quite nice. Go back to the ground. So the ground.
grand one seems to have, um, I don't know, it just has a quite a depth and sparkle and brightness that cuts through the mix. So uh, obviously you can tailor it how you want to, but I think I quite like that one. And there's a lot of competition in this field, so they've got a big, uh, you know, big problem there with all the competition to kind of fit where they fit. But it's a similar price range as all the others, um, but it seems to be good. Um, as a gay, it's a little loading time is, is a little bit of an issue. It takes a little while to load the actual sounds. But otherwise, it's fantastic. So again, this is Chris from Florida Music, and we've been looking at the Grand 3, so we hope to catch you on the next one. And remember, you can buy any of these products from floridamusicco.com. <laughs>